For ACUsports.com, I'm Grant Boone here with Julie Goodenough. Her team is now 2-0, and the women's team 102-60 over Howard Payne. Uh, a little bit of a scrappy start Saturday in your season opener. Tonight, a different story. You pressed early and you made shots. What a difference that seems to make, doesn't it? Well, I was really proud of our starters. I think they came out of the shoot ready to play, um, ready to hit open shots. We started the game distributing the ball really well, making the extra pass to get the better look. Um, defensively, we... we you know, really kind of turned up the heat in the first four minutes of the game to set the tone. You had 12 assists on your first 17 made baskets, which I know you love to see. And then after a little bit of a struggle shooting on Saturday, boy, you go seven of your first 10 threes made, and you finish 10 of 24 and 18 of 19 from the free throw line. I know you love that. Yeah, the free throw uh, percentage on Saturday was extremely disappointing, but really mirrored what it had looked like in practice for about a week. So I was not really surprised. But uh, we spent a lot of time yesterday talking about free throw shooting and just what that can do for us. And that may be the difference between winning and losing a game uh, down the stretch. And so I was proud of our players for stepping up to the line and knocking their free throws down. Um, we did come out early and hit threes in the first half and uh, kind of elevated us um, offensively. And then the second half, we kind of changed our philosophy and decided to pound it inside to our post players. And they did a great job making post moves and finishing shots. Well, you had one post player who made it from outside and in. Madison Parker, your freshman from uh, Canyon up there in uh, the panhandle. She goes for a double-double, 15 and 12. Tell me about her development from when practice first started to now. Well, um, tonight we really needed her. Uh, we, we came out of the shoots. We were playing really hard. And uh, Lizzie, one of our starters, you know, gets two fouls before the first media timeout. So we didn't want, um, you know, that substitution to, to, you know, let down the intensity or anything. And um, Madison just came in, knocks three down the first touch she gets, and uh, just helps us continue on the path where we had started. I think she hit the scoreboard with that first three <laughs> nearly, a high arcing shot that got nothing but net. So now you turn your attention to UT San Antonio. My memories from that game actually was this year, wasn't it? The very beginning of January of, uh, of 14 really physical contest and it went down to the wire what do you expect Wednesday I, I expect the same kind of battle um, I felt like our deficiencies last year were free throw shooting and keeping them off the offensive boards and um, obviously uh, you know that's going to be a focus tomorrow just in watching video and, and preparing for that game is we've got to be physical and not allow them to get two and three shots off in a possession uh, we feel like we can get to the free throw line against them as well and uh, we've, we've got to step it to the line and make shots um, you know, when you play on the road, uh, shots may not fall like they do at home, and we've got to be very intentional about going after offensive rebounds ourselves, and we can't allow them to get easy, easy looks at the basket uh, when we're playing on their home court. Good test Wednesday night, ACU at UT San Antonio. You can listen to that broadcast right here on acusports.com. Wildcats 2-0 and after a 102-60 win on Monday night against Howard Payne. For Julie Goodenough, I'm Grant Boone for acusports.com.